Alright, Jack. How do you feel about signing the zebras, mate? Right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm missing soccer at the a lot, to be honest. <laughs> no, tell us about tomorrow, mate. Right? Tell us how it all came about and, and what you're going to be doing. Oh, having a run at the Anzac Day sort of sprint. I'm like, I don't know much about it, to be honest. So I think just get out there, have a crack, see how it goes. Just got approached, have a run, so I thought, why not? Are you going to go full tilt or are you just going to maybe just ease up a little bit? No, nah, I'm going to have to. Gonna have to actually get a win. I think there's a lot of quick guys out there, so I think for me to win, I have to go at it hard. Have you raced on the Astro too before? I don't know what I even have to wear. Like, <laughs> got to wear spikes, or so I'm not too sure. So never raced. I've played here a few times, not many. I used to play, so it's going to be a different sort of surface compared to the more soccer grass grass surfaces you run on. So yeah. What have you been up to since uh, since stall back into training and whatnot? Or uh, I made two weeks off, so. I was, I was kidding, and then I've been back into it for about three sessions now, so back into full-on training until about 12 weeks to head off. And as body's feeling, feeling good, um, or firing on all cylinders? Oh, feeling extremely good. Those, those two weeks really helped. I mean, if I didn't have them, I would have been feeling not so motivated and feeling like I needed the break. So those two weeks really helped me and helped me get back up to 100%. What's your next thing from here then? Obviously the World Youth, but what's in you before that? Ah, uh, so we head off for a pre-departure camp in Brisbane, June. Head off there for a week, just get to know everyone, have a first crack at our pre-departure qualifier, because we're not 100% sure of spot at the moment. They've set up qualifiers for us to actually get before we go away, so that's yep. our first crack at it. Has everything calmed down a little bit now? Obviously you got pretty full on there, around the Silver Youth Farm, leading up to that and everything. You haven't run for a while, so I think it's good to just lay back and do my own thing. And that's what I always try and do, no matter what, no matter what the race. So I think having this sort of downtime and uh, just really focusing on the training is really big for me. And you're off the same mark tomorrow, do you know? Or I hope so. I mean, <laughs> not too keen if it's not. <laughs> oh.